What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. And oh man, this I, I got a I got a pretty sweet story here. I've been dying to talk about this. I've been dying to talk about this seriously. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like the video. I'm on a journey to get 1,000 subscribers, and I very much appreciate your help. Now, Peter Dink Peter Dinklish. Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion Lannister is making headlines because of because of Disney. <laughs> I'm here at the Insider, a legitimate website for news. So it says Peter Dinklage says that the Snow White, the Snow White live action casting is hypocritical, hypocri hypocritically woke because of the dwarf characters. Right? Check this out. Check this out. It says the Peter D Peter Dinklage said the upcoming with Snow White. Room remake was hypocritically woke he said the studio was very proud to cast a latina actor but kept the door kept the backstory of the dwarves because look guys every everything in the movie is very linked together snow white the way she's supposed to be with the dwarves it all links together so disney should have changed the backstory of the dwarves I don't know if you guys have ever watched the original Snow White movie from like back in the 1940s, 1950s. You know, when Walt Disney, one of Walt Disney's like biggest movies, by the way. So, yeah, you should go, you should go watch it. The original, it's really good. I mean, for its time, it was really good. I still think it's good. Old Disney is the best. The old, old, old Disney is the absolute best. Still it is. Then he says Dinklage has spoken before about the harm of stereotypes that dwarves actors deal with. Right? So then it says, this is what Peter says. He says, it makes no sense to me because you're progressive in one way and then you're still making that fucking backward story of seven dwarves living in a cave. Dinklage said in a comedian Mark, uh, Mark Maron's What the F podcast. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Because, see, Disney wants to be progressive. They don't want any white actors in their movies, in you know, in their as lead as lead movies, and they think, oh, Snow White is racist because it's white. But back then, everybody loved the movie. When I was a kid, I wasn't thinking about skin color. I wasn't thinking about like ethnicity. I wasn't thinking about race. I wasn't thinking about any of that shit back then. It was just a really good movie. With you know this magical fairy tale that Disney was really good at telling, right? And but now fast forward to 2020, you know the the 2020 decade is just gonna be fucking shit, guys. Fast forward to 2020, 2021, 2022. Now we have this. Now we gotta. Everything has to be all. Ugh, like, people are so sensitive. Just because her name is Snow White, it doesn't mean that it's all about her skin color, you know. And by casting a Latina, what happens is that you basically the movie now doesn't make any sense because if she's supposed to be Snow White, okay, skin as white as snow, lips as as red as blood, hair as black as raven, right? So now the movie doesn't make sense because that's how the story was written. But see, see, here's a problem: the real racists, the real racists are people that are thinking. Oh, are thinking like this like oh we have to change the character because uh it's snow white we, we can't she can't be white right she cannot be white why is that see the people behind this live action movie that are making these changes they are the real racists you're the one thinking of race i'm latino okay i'm spanish i speak spanish okay i have absolutely no problem i never even thought of snow white skin color until these fuckers brought it up that's what bothers me. And what does Disney say about Peter Dinklage? This is what they say. This is what it says. So Disney, here in Variety, said Disney response to Peter Dinklage's No Way Outrage. We're, con we're consulting with dwarfism community. community. <laughs> so this is what Disney says. It says, to avoid reinforcing stereotypes from original animated film, we are taking a different approach with these seven, seven characters and have been consulting with members of the dwarf dwarfism community <laughs> yeah okay okay yeah sure 
A spokesperson for Disney said in a statement to Variety, We look forward to sharing more as a film, film's head into production after a lengthy development period. Yeah, right. I, and honestly, and I bet you, I bet you they did this at the last minute. They did this at the last minute. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, we're getting criticism. Quick, go get the dwarves. Right? I mean, who's the real racist? Disney is the racist. And actually, Zendaya, uh, Zendaya from, uh, who, who plays Mary Jane in Spider-Man, she said it herself, the way she was treated as a, you know, as a brown-skinned person in, you know, in the, in the Spider-Man movies, why she was casted. You know, she, she said it herself, you know, Disney, they use these people. They don't care about you. Look, I'm Spanish. I'm Latino. You know, you, you, do you think that just because you're casting a Latino person that that's supposed to make me happy? What makes me happy is the original. And not only that, they're also doing this with the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid live action. The Little Mermaid live action is going to be fucked. Okay, it's going to be fucked because they're taking it. And no disrespect to the actor, but they're taking an African-American actor in, in place of a character that's supposed to be a basically a Caucasian looking redhead of the sea. But because in, we're in the 2020s now, we can't have that. No. Like now, it's like, now we have, no, we cannot cast a, a white person as the main character. Oh, that's racist. No, he has to be an African American for this part. But me, as a, as a, as a quote unquote minority, a, as a Latino person, I want the original mermaid. Give me the mermaid that I grew up with. Because a lot of us Disney fans, we grew up with, we grew up with these animated movies. And now that you're making the live action, they're all inaccurate. We want to see the red-headed mermaid. We want the red-headed mermaid. I want the red-headed mermaid. Put a, get it, hire a redhead. There's plenty of redheads. You know, take Geeky from fucking Clownfish TV. She'll play, she'll play uh, the Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh man, man, Disney, 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 Disney. Anyways, guys. That is it for this video. Tell me what you think. Comment below. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the link below. Hit the uh, notification bell for future notifications. This is Andy Matrix. I'll see you guys in the next video. Godspeed.